Hi, I'm George with Efficient AC, Electric, and Plumbing. Today, I'm here to talk to you about air filters. There are lots of videos, lots of topics out there to discuss air filters, but what I want to talk to you about is a practical approach to assessing what you need to do in your home, your property, for your air filters. There's really two factors involved in deciding how often to replace your air filters. First factor is environmental. The second factor is equipment. Let's start with environmental. So your home or your property, the use of your property is going to determine in part the frequency that you replace your filters. If your home is very busy, if you've got pets, if you've got uh, construction outside your home, say you're in a new neighborhood with a lot of construction, or say you have hobbies that generate dust, or lots of children, you're gonna to need to replace filters more often rather than less often. If you're in a home or a property that has a fairly stable environment, that's quiet, that um, doesn't have a lot of in and out, you're gonna be able to go longer in any given situation. So that's environmental. So how does that tie with equipment to, to help you with your frequency? All right, now your standard setup is going to have a one inch filter like this here, skinny. This one happens to be pleated. You can see the pleats on the filter. This filter, um, it's a high quality filter. It's going to filter as well as any other pleated filter does. It's not super high efficiency, which means it'll flow air fairly well and it'll catch the big chunks. Uh, this filter typically needs to be replaced every one to two months. Two months if you've got a situation where your house or your property is uh, not very dirty, maybe every month or maybe even every two weeks if you're doing something that generates a lot of dust. We don't really recommend these filters because they load up with particles quickly, they don't have much surface area, and they have to be replaced often. All right, so what's better than this? Here is a two-inch filter. So if your filter box can take it, this is the same media as the one inch filter, but a lot more surface area. Not quite twice as much, but close. Uh, and this, this filter is gonna flow air more freely because it has more surface area, even with the same size box. Uh, and it's gonna need to be replaced less often. Now, remember when a filter loads up with particles, it does not necessarily mean that it, it filters less efficiently it will actually, in many cases, filter more efficiently. However, at some point, as the dirt builds up, the particles build up, it will filter so efficiently that air stops flowing. So it's a balance between filtering efficiency and airflow. This filter is better than the one inch filter at flowing air. Uh, typical frequency is three to maybe six months uh, at the very longest. Three months is a good number, three or four months for this filter. Uh, in times to replace. Okay, so what's better than this? This is a four inch filter. It's a little bit bigger size, using it as an example. Look how big the pleats are, a lot more surface area. This four inch filter and some are five inch filters has a little higher MERV rating. It's MERV 11 than those others that are MERV eight or nine. And typically this filter will be able to be replaced every six to maybe 12 months. These filters can go a long time in a, uh, in a stable environment without a lot of foot traffic. Uh, 12 months is certainly possible. I wouldn't let it go any farther than that. Of course, the cost of the filter goes up as you go up in size, but your frequency of maintenance goes way down. And uh, to me, this is the way to go if you have a filter box that can take it. When you're replacing your air conditioner, that's a good time to ask that question and maybe replace the filter box with it. So rather than keep your old one inch filter, move to a four inch filter, much longer life. I'm gonna show you an example of a four inch filter in this machine. And this filter was replaced on December 23rd of 19. A Little bit different color, doesn't matter. These are available in many different styles and colors, but at the end of the day, they do essentially the same thing very little dirt on them. And this is the main unit in this home. Um, 
we're going to put this back in and we're going to let it go until January 1st or December 23rd or December 19th, whatever that date was of this year and replace it at about that time period. So in a, in a quiet setting, these can go a long time. A lot of dirt, they'll load up and you've got to replace them more frequently. So this one goes back in for right now. Uh, normally if it was out, I'd replace it if I had a replacement with me. I don't today, but it's fine for this to go another five or six months. So, and it's as easy as what I've just done right there for replacing the filter. There is an orientation. Check the arrows. The air flows from this side to that side. Make sure the arrows line up when you replace the filter and you're good to go. So again, the two factors in determining how often you replace your air filter are uh, environmental and equipment. Keep both in mind when you decide on what's right. You can look at the filter. It's not the most scientific way. You can look at the filter and really tell if it's on one extreme or another, either very clean or very dirty, and it can provide you some guidance on what you need to do. Again, I'm George. I'm with Efficient AC Electric and Plumbing. You can find us on EfficientTexas.com. Give us a call if you have any questions or concerns. We love to talk. Bye now.